Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you some interesting case in which you can change some vulnerabilities that can increase the impact. Okay, so this video is going to be related with cores. We're going to see how we can change, you know, reflected XSS with cores and then we'll be able to bypass the, you know, cores protection and we'll be able to do a lot more impact compared to by simply just reporting the reflected accesses. So let's see how we can do that. But before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my first video of course misconfiguration, then please go ahead and check it out so that you'll be able to understand that what exactly course misconfiguration is, what cause, what is course and how, you know, it works. So yeah, please go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let us get started. Okay, so now you can see clearly over here we have a website and we're going to assume this is a live application. Okay, so now let us try to see if we can find any vulnerabilities in it or not. Okay, so first you can see it is saying that we need to log in into the account. So let us go ahead and try to log in. Okay, meanwhile, I'm also going to turn on my intercept to see what is exactly happening. Okay, let's go to login and you can see there is this request going on and you can see it says username123 something like that. Let us intercept the response to see what we're getting and you can take a note at the origin header as well, cost.vpractical.tech. Fine. And if you take a closer look, you can see it has set a cookie and you can see we've got this interesting headers as I've told you in the previous video. That is, you know, uh, the access control allow origin is set to cost.vpractical.tech as well as access control allow credential has been set to true. Right, I'm just going to send this to repeater and we're going to play with it. Okay. Meanwhile, let's see what will happen if we redirect or if we log in into the application. Fine. You can clearly see we've got to this delete endpoint. Okay. Again, this is, you know, just for demonstration. So try to understand what exactly is happening over here. Okay. So let us, let us say that after login into the application, we've got to this delete endpoint, okay, where we can delete uh, an account, right? So many times you'll see many applications have this particular functionality. Okay, let us go ahead and intercept this part of the application as well and see what has happened. So you can clearly see we are getting this delete request sent to API users delete, right? And if we intercept the response, we can see what that it says the user is deleted, right? So everything is working as expected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to repeater again. Okay, and now I'm going to play with this origin like we did before, right? Let's try to see if this particular application is now having any cause misconfiguration or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from HTTPS cost.bpractical.tech to let's say attacker.com. Okay. And remember, we are going to test uh, cause misconfiguration on those endpoints which are handling something sensitive. For example, over here, this endpoint is handling you know, the delete functionality, basically we can, if we can, you know, send this, uh, what you can say endpoint to the victim, we'll be able to delete their account, right? So this is something which is, you know, impactful. So we are looking for th those particular endpoints, right? Whereas if we check this one, so this is just a login functionality, right? So it is, you know, if we are able to exploit cost mis misconfiguration over here, it will be similar to login CSRF. Okay. So it's not much of an impact to be honest. Okay. Therefore, always look for those endpoints which are having some, you know, sensitive uh, actions like getting data, deleting, you know, something, editing or modifying some data, something like that. So if I send the request right now, uh, what we can see over here is that the access control allow origin is not present, right? We can see when we have changed the origin to attacker.com, right? Let's try null. Okay. Again, you can see there is no access control allow origin headers or access control allow credential headers present, right? But again, when we set the origin as HTTPS, uh, you know, cost.bpractical.tech, in this case, we can clearly see that we can share the credential if the request is coming from cost.bpractical.tech. Now, what I'm going to do is many times the application also allows, uh, you know, like send requests from a different subdomain of the particular target. So let's try to go ahead and test that. For example, I'm going to go ahead and type test.bpractical.dev. Let us see if it is getting reflected in the access control allow origin or not. And as you can see, it is reflecting as it is, right? So this confirms one thing that test.bpractical.tech is allowed to send the request along with the cookies or credential, right? 
I'm going to change this from test to let's say any random value like this. Okay. Just to confirm if every subdomains are allowed or some specific subdomains are allowed. Okay. And you can clearly see that it is getting reflected as it is, which means that all the subdomains of bpractical.tech are allowed to send the request along with the cookies, right? Now our second goal is to, since we have identified this, now our second goal will be to find either a subdomain takeover in any of the subdomains of bpractical.tech or we can find any kind of cross scripting on the subdomains of bpractical.tech. Okay, so let's try to go ahead and do that. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you that how we can chain reflected XSS along with course misconfiguration or, you know, course uh, uh, policy so that we can increase the impact. Fine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on OK on this one. And we have another subdomain of, you know, uh, be practical, which is admin dot be practical dot tech. And you can see if I hit enter, it says under development, right? So now let's try to go ahead and do some little reconnaissance over here i'm just going to like capture the request and i'm going to see if we can find any parameters over here or not so i'm going to select this case query parameters let's click on ok and let's see if we can find anything or not let's wait a few seconds and i'll get back to you once we find anything okay so as you can see, the target has identified a parameter, which is search, right? So let us go ahead and play with this. I'm going to turn on the intercept. I'm going to intercept the request and let's send this to repeater again. And let me append that particular parameter, which was search, right? So let's go and type search equals to, and I'm going to give a random value test, send the request now. And you can see what it says that we couldn't find anything for tests. So whatever we are giving here is getting reflected right over here. Right. So we've confirmed this thing. Let's try to see how it is handling the dangerous characters. And we can clearly see that it is also like, you know, not filtering out the less than greater than symbol. Let's try to append a tag, how it is behaving. And you can see the tag is getting rendered as it is. So last thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can do, you know, uh, an XSS over here or not. So I'm going to type script alert one and sorry, script tag close. Okay. Send the request now. And you can see it clearly says that we couldn't find anything but test and the script value is rendered as it is. Let us copy the URL and I'm going to paste it in the new tab to see if it is getting reflected or not. Okay. And as you can see, we have successfully found this particular, you know, uh, XSS vulnerability, right? So now we have confirmed that this particular application is vulnerable to cross site scripting. And as you know, we send the request using JavaScript only, right? Which means that we can easily send the request from this particular origin if we, you know, like provide or supply the proper code over here. So what I'm going to do last is I'm going to open that same file, which we did or which we created in the first video of course misconfiguration. Okay. However, I'm just going to copy this particular line of code, which is just sending the request. And then it will let us know if, uh, you know, uh, we've got a, we've got a successful response. Let's copy this out. And what I'm going to do last is I'm going to remove everything from here. I'm going to paste it. Okay. And I'm just last thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to URL encoding. Okay. And I believe now we are good to go. And if you take a look, so it is sending the request. Let me do HTTPS. It is sending the request to cost.bpractical.tech API user delete, which is the same endpoint over here. The request method is delete, right? Delete. And it is also, you know, sending the request along with the cookies, right? Which is very important, you know, and uh, once we've got the response, it will just print it out for us. Okay. Let us send the request now. And you can see it is reflecting as it is. The last thing which I'm going to do is with my intercept turned on, I'm going to paste this and hit enter. Let's forward this, let's forward this, everything. And you can see we're getting this request sent to the server. Let's forward this. Okay. And you can see right now 
since the java script code has been you know executed so first request the browser is sending is options to see if this particular origin is allowed to send the request or not and you can see in the origin we've got admin.bpractical.tech i hope you're able to understand these things we can simply intercept the response and you can see it is reflecting as it is and then now the second thing which is going to happen is that the request will get sent along with the cookies right and you can clearly see the cookies are getting sent as well and if we power the request now and take a look at our browser you can see the user has been deleted successfully right so right now we were able to chain reflected accesses with course and we have increased its impact from medium to high severity right i hope you're able to understand this and we can do the same thing when you know let's say that uh cost or be practical dot tech was in scope in your bug bounty or print testing but uh, or any other subdomain was not in the scope right so you can change this with the out of scope you know targets to see if you can you know somehow uh, use this misconfiguration and this will get accepted you know because the impact is getting happened on the uh, on the target which is in the scope right i hope you're able to understand this and let me show you one small thing as well like if we directly send the request using this particular file and just to let you know okay let's open this is fireworks so you can see the origin is my local host machine right and if i send the request you can you will clearly notice what happens is that first the options request is getting sent and the origin is set to null right which is not getting accepted you can clearly see we'll, we are not getting access control allow origin as well as access control allow credential and hence the application will not send the further request along with the cookies right so this is how we can you know bypass it and if you check the log you can clearly see that the course oh, sorry cross origin uh, request has been blocked yeah so i hope you all are able to understand this that's how we can chain course misconfiguration along with you know reflected or any type of cross site scripting to increase the impact or you know to exploit course right i hope you're able to understand this if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cyber security bug bounty and ethical hacking and if you like the way i teach then i have few of the courses running on udemy so you, if you want to learn more about reconnaissance or you know hacking windows with python and you know like account takeovers then please feel free to go ahead and check out these courses all of these courses have been taught in a practical demonstration so you're going to learn everything in the practical way which is the motto of our channel right so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out and with that being said Keep learning, keep hacking and thank you so much for watching.